Anthony, how old are you? 31. Anthony, I notice you're in a wheelchair. How long have you been in a wheelchair? Nine months. And how'd you lose your right leg? I hit by car. I was in Washington. I was crossing the street. Okay. And uh, how long have you been doing blues? Um, about a year, maybe. Probably, probably about a year. Okay. So it's possible you were high when you got hit? Yeah, I think so. I think I was, I was smoking blue. You don't remember, though? I don't remember, though, no. I hit my head really hard and I was unconscious. And they um, had to wake me up and I was, I was unconscious, I was sleeping. Did the car stop? No, it didn't stop. They just kept going? Yeah, it kept going. And you woke up in the hospital and... I woke up with the ambulance right there standing over me. And they, they had to amputate? Yeah. Or it was already gone? Yeah, it was, they amputated it. Man. And... How long were you in the hospital? A month. A month. So during those 30 days to help you recover from being ran over and losing your leg, did they help you as far as like uh, like treatment or detoxing from uh, your addiction to blues? Yeah, I detoxed, yeah. So what, so did that help you as far yeah. as? Yeah, it helped. It did help? Yeah. And how soon after you leaving the hospital did you revert back to blues I'm probably the same day uh, the same day yeah. <laughs> okay does your family know you're out here yeah yeah my mom knows I'm Phoenix family. are you from Phoenix no I'm from California California yeah how long have you been here in Phoenix um about 10 years 10 years yeah okay and uh you being in a wheelchair now not, not having a right leg that's gonna make life a little bit harder for you, no? Yeah, yeah, a lot harder. A lot harder? Yep, yeah, yeah, it's, um, it's pretty hard actually, yeah. Pretty hard? Yeah. What, what are your plans, Anthony, for your future? Um, trying to get a house somewhere to live. You're trying to get a house? Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my social security turned on. I'm trying to get social security. I need to call my mom and then ask her to, to apply for social security for me. And what's Social Security going to do for you? Help me out with the house. I'm paying my rent. So you want Social Security to pay for a house for you so you can live there? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that Social Security will require that you're not uh, battling addiction, though? Yeah. Um, they don't want me on drugs. Nah. Yeah, they don't They don't want you on drugs because they don't want to finance your, your addiction, right? Yeah. Nah, yeah. Nah, no drugs for me. How many pills do you do per day, Anthony? Uh, probably like three or four. Three or four? Yeah, maybe more. Maybe five or six, I don't know. All depends. Depends like, on if you make money? Yeah, make money. How do you make money? Panhandling. <clears throat> panhandling, how, about how much do you make per day from panhandling? About $20. About 20 bucks yeah. per day? Yeah. <laughs> My hands itchy. Your hands are itchy? Yeah. Dirty, I need to clean them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bad. What, what happened to your hands though? You have a lot of scars on there. Yeah, I got MRSA in my living. You had MRSA? Yeah, MRSA. That's that yeah. infection? Yes, yeah, it's, yeah it's infection that was spreading. And uh, when when did you have it? Uh, I have it still. I you still have it? Yeah. I think they, I think the antibiotics should have killed, should have killed it by now. I'm not sure what they did or not. Wow. They're, they're giving me a lot of antibiotics. You know? They're giving me IVs every day. IVs and, yeah. and antibiotics to kill the MRSA? Yeah. Yeah, I had uh, ammonia too. Ammonia? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I can breathe that well. No, it's, just... it's really hard being out here in the streets uh, to take care of yourself medically, no? Yeah. Yes, it is. I want to stay cleaner. You, clean. you what? I need to stay cleaner and take a shower. I want to take more showers. Is that what they said? You got MRSA because you're not showering enough? Is that what they said? Yeah, I think so. I think that's what it said. That's probably what it said. I think so. Yeah, you're, you're picking at your skin with your, with your nail, your hands. Probably not clean. And so all that is going into your blood system, right? Yeah.
what do you think about all the young people out here, uh, Anthony? You're uh, young, you're young at thirty, but there's teenagers out here battling this addiction. Yeah, what do you yeah. what do you think about that? I don't like that. It's not good. Not good. Yeah, it's not a good thing. Addiction's no. never good. It what? Addiction's never good. Addiction is never good. No, no. When you came from California ten years ago, Anthony, were you already battling addiction, or did the addiction started here in Phoenix? It started here. I was doing um, marijuana. That's all I was doing. You know. In Michigan, I was doing it all. In California, I was doing it a lot. That's all I was doing. And then when I came here, I saw these meth and the pills. Yeah, where it started, the meth started here in Arizona. What's the difference between meth or G uh, versus blues? Uh, one's an upper, one's a downer, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know. What about price wise? Uh, price? I don't know. It's about the same. About the same price? Yeah. Which one do you prefer? Blues, pills, pills. I prefer pills. Why are the blues better for you? I don't know. They make me feel better. They make your pain go away? Yeah. How long does that <clears throat> numbing effect uh, uh, last? Uh, less than an hour. Less than an hour. Yeah. So you, then you need another pill because you're going to start getting sick from yeah. withdrawals? Yep. Yeah. That's how it works, yeah. What about uh, <clears throat> this new thing out there called Trank? Have you heard of it? No, I've heard of that. You've never heard of Trank? No. So a Trank, it's here in Phoenix. It's um, it's actually in all 48, in, in 48 out of the 50 states, it, it's it's been uh, detected there. But a Trank yeah. is, uh, I think it's Xylazine, it, which is a horse tranquilizer. Oh, no. They're starting to mix uh, some of that oh, Xylazine right. in in um Meth? in blues oh, no, no, no. <clears throat> yeah in blues so um people are injecting that oh, okay. would you ever try that no i don't, I don't want to try that that sounds good yeah it's very dangerous a lot of a lot of ods are happening because of that mixture yeah, I bet. I bet. Yep. Uh, sounds, like sounds like very <laughs> strong as if blues weren't strong enough you know yeah. they made them even stronger which yeah. is kind of it's like insane uh, how do you stay safe out here? Um, uh, I've been beat up a couple times, actually. You what? I've been beat up a couple times. I just stay to myself. I try to stay to myself. You stay to yourself? Yeah, I don't like company or nothing like that. I don't have any friends or nothing. No friends? No. I don't trust anybody. No loyalty out here? No love? Nope. It's still, it's, all my stuff is stolen. Everything I get was stolen. Especially now that you're in a wheelchair, right? They just yeah. take advantage of you? Yep. So do, don't you think that's more uh, reason for you to get off the streets? Yep, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, heck yeah. I need the officers. I need that. You what? I need I need to get a, a, somewhere to live. Need uh -huh. somewhere to live? Hmm. There are treatment centers, uh, recovery centers. Yeah, that's true. I don't, don't want to stay there because they don't give me cigarettes out. You what? They don't give me any cigarettes in the morning. They don't like, have any cigarettes like, privileges. So you want somewhere to live, but you don't want to go to a treatment center, live there because no, they have I, rules. No, because I want to live with myself. I don't want to live with anybody else. I don't. I don't want any, any people living with me. I'm more. Uh, I want to live with myself. I want my own house. You want your own house? Yeah. But <clears throat> do you just want somebody to give you that house, like the government, or? No, I rather pay for it. I rather uh, get social security. And I, I I used to work, so um, I get social security as my money. So. Okay. Got it. Um, okay, so uh, <clears throat> Anthony, what advice would you give to young people out there? They're young, they're 15 years old at home being rebellious. Somebody offers them pills or, or, or anything, right? Blues, G, uh, what should they say? Say no and um, don't get started, you know? Don't, don't get addiction you don't want. It's, it's too expensive and it's not worth it. Not worth it? It's not worth it, no. If your family, your mom, your friends see this in California, uh, what message do you have for them? Um, I love them and um, stay, uh, help them. I, mean, I don't know. I'm uh, nothing, I guess. I don't remember what to say. Just tell them I love them, I guess. Okay, got it. If they reach out to me the, wanting to come look for you, you want me to tell them where you're at? Yeah, I will. Okay, sounds good. So. Uh, I'm going to say thank you very much, Anthony. You. I really yeah. appreciate you. I Please appreciate stay you. safe. I'm going to give you my card with my okay. number on it so you can call me if you need a ride at a treatment center, okay? Okay, cool. Thank you. That'd be awesome. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. All right, cool. Thank you.